Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, I'm bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Lord of the Click 2. This game is developed by Huge Pixel, published by Chili Dog Interactive, and releases on October 8th, 2021, for a price of $4.99. Now this is a sequel to Lord of the Click 1 that came out just under a year ago. I want to say it was late October of 2020. But yeah, let's dive on in and talk about Lord of the Click. Uh, the game features two modes. You can play by yourself, or you can play a kind of button mash style game mode where as you can see here you just keep bashing the a button over and over and you just compete against somebody locally through couch co-op it's not really much to that mode outside of just who can button mash better but the real meat and potatoes of the game is the campaign mode so the way the game works is you're going to take place over a ton of different levels that are going to increasingly go up in the difficulty as, as you play. So instead of it being a clicking style game, you're just going to be managing your resources and deploying troops. If you look in the middle of your screen, you're going to see kind of a color divide line. That's your pushback barrier. While you're playing, you're going to have to send troops. As your troops get into the enemy's base and objective, you're going to slowly start to gain ground, and then that ground you gain is going to allow you to you know, end up winning. Push the little barrier divide all the way over and have enough troops enter the enemy base, and you win. Overall, this game is actually a very simple and not too difficult game. Um, you can lose pretty easily if you don't manage your uh, kind of focus with your troops, but most of the levels are going to be more or less rinse and repeat of the same style. You're just going to get better upgrades and gear as you play and progress, but you're not really going to have to change too much of a tactical strategy standpoint, as it's just copy-paste of the enemy base sending units at you, you send units at them, until either one of either them or you overpower each other. Achievement wise, there's nothing, you know, too crazy or specific about this game. As you can see, I've got most of the achievements already. You just need to complete the initial 11 levels, build and do a certain amount of actions, whether it's golems, as you can see, is an achievement I still need, or roll stones a certain amount of time throughout the level, or you know, just various little actions, but nothing that's going to be too difficult for you to do. You're just going to have to spend some time while you're playing to unlock those achievements and really just put time into the game. Um, early into the game, it's going to be fairly, you know, easy to go through the stages, and then they're going to start to take longer and longer. You may spend, you know, 15, 20 minutes on, like, stage 6 or 7, whereas the earlier levels you might be done in 5 or 10 minutes, and it's just a grind of, you know, building up your resources and forces until you can overtake the other enemy base. Um, as far as any type of skill, fun, replayability, there's not a lot to this game outside of that two-player button mashing mode, which, to be honest, you know, you have to play it for a couple achievements, but outside of that, there's not much to it, and you can even do it by yourself. You don't need another controller or anything, and you'll just have to spend a couple minutes to grind out those achievements. Um, outside of that, you know, the game is okay. It's not anything overwhelming. I actually recall liking the first game better than the sequel, um, and if I remember right, the first game actually, I think, required you to actually click buttons, so naming the game Lord of the Click doesn't really make a lot of sense when you're not really having to button mash or really struggle or push for any of your items or resources anymore. But what you're seeing on screen is pretty much what the game is. Just different levels, you'll start to unlock different characters and be able to send out different units and do different effects. But it's just upgrade your base, build your guys up until, you know, you win or you lose. Um, overall, if I have to give this game any type of a rating or review, I'll probably give it about a 4 out of 10. It's, it's okay, it's something to play, but I would not go out of my way to pick up this game. If you're looking for something to fun to play, there's a lot of crazy good games coming out this holiday. I'd encourage you to check out some of the other reviews here on our channel. Uh, if you have any questions about the game, let us know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and we'll catch you guys next time.